Hey guys, I've done a um, tutorial in the past over how to apply <clears throat> V-Ray materials on objects in Rhino, and um, I've recently been um, working on making my own textures and things like that, and I've come across um, trying to figure out how a bump map works because it just didn't look that realistic with just the flat JPEG image on an, on a surface. So um, I thought I'd share that with you guys because it um, turned out to work pretty well um, with this method that I've just kind of been searching on YouTube and people have some pretty good um, tutorials. So I'm kind of condensing all those tutorials into a um, just a really quick one for you. So I'll probably be going pretty fast. So um, just pause it or replay it if you're having any trouble. So I'll just kind of jump right into it. So I have four spheres here that I'll um, apply with this different textures just so you can see um, all the things you can do. Um, and it, this is actually pretty easy too. So um, you really don't need to know how to use Photoshop. Um, but because uh, it's just working with adjustments and things like that, like contrast and turning an image into black and white, so it's not a big deal. Um, but I'll just kind of jump into it. Um, first things first, go to um, Google or whatever, um, Yahoo, I guess, if that's your default program, and uh, just type in a texture that you want to look at. Uh, so I have fur here, load it up, and just scroll through any of the images that <clears throat> probably something more of a um, plan view as opposed to something from the side because um, something from the side won't um, the displacement map on that won't show up as well as you'd think um, so let's just choose this guy it looks like it should be fine um, so wait for the quality to get better Or not. <clears throat> Let's see. Or just choose a different one. Mm -hmm. We can go with this guy. If it loads up. Okay. This will be fine. So save image as. And then, so I have my new little um, materials folder here. So I'll rename this one fur. So the other three materials that will apply to those spheres are brick, grass, and mesh. Um, so once that's saved, open up Photoshop and then open a new, um, open that image that you just saved. So click on fur, and then go over to the adjustments. Um, and if th that adjustments isn't showing up, go to window at the top, and then from the drop down menu you, sh you should you should see adjustments um, so my icons are kind of tiny but there's one of the adjustments says black and white so we want to click on that one and it'll change it to black and white and then click on it again because now we're going to change the contrast um, so V-Ray reads a displacement map as black being the shadow um, and then the white being the highlight so the white is going to be what is actually displacing off of the surface. So you're going to want to make that as bright as possible so it can um, really find the difference between the two. So I would go into brightness contrast on the adjustment menu and put uh, contrast at all the way up or at 100 or just slightly below. And then the brightness I would also put pretty high just so it's more black and white rather than just grayscale. Um, so this right about there should be fine. And so again here, here we're making the displacement map. The actual texture map is the original image and you don't really need to alter that unless you want to make it a different color or just do a little bit of Photoshop um, to make it exactly what you want. So we'll go ahead and save this as a JPEG and this will be our displacement map. So fur um, one, 
and open up Rhino. And then I usually select my objects before I go into the V-Ray Materials menu. So um, this yellow circle with the M on it is your menu. You'll open that and I have created those three materials already um, just so we don't have to go through the whole process again and so you can see here these are just Google images again the same thing as the fur so what you do to import that is click on scene materials and then right click create material standard so this um, has a new drop down layer and then you'll right click on that if you want to rename it um, so we'll just rename that fur and what we want to do next is go up here to color under the diffuse tab in the V-Ray material editor click on the M so then the V-Ray texture editor menu pops up and then we'll have this drop down menu here and click on the bitmap so T X bitmap which I guess stands for texture bitmap um, and then it automatically opens up your documents so navigate to where you you save that image so here you're not um, you're not importing the displacement map which is the black and white one that we just made you're importing the original image with the color um, so double click on that and then press OK or you can preview it first um, so that's actually what it will look like. So press OK. <clears throat> and then you can see here that that looks pretty good. Um, but we now need it to pop off this, the, the sphere a little bit to give it um, a lot of texture. So originally I thought that it was the bump map that did that, but apparently it's displacement. Um, so you will check that box and then click on the M and now we're gonna um, import that Photoshop document that we made so again go to the drop down menu and select the bitmap and then this time you're gonna select that black and white one with the high contrast and then press OK and there's a lot of options here and the one that I saw that <clears throat> people actually mess with, mess with was this edge length. Um, the higher the number, the um, lower quality the edge will be. Um, so let's go ahead and change that to like a 1. So the lower, lower the number is, the higher quality it will be. So um, I think that's all that we need to do in that material editor menu. So go ahead and click on your fur again, right click, and then apply material to the selection. So then if you're in rendered view, you'll see that it um, comes up on that surface. So And to get to the rendered viewport, just right click on your um, viewport uh, perspective. So you might be in wireframe or shaded, so just change that to rendered, and then you can see it in real time. Um, so then we'll just kind of apply these different textures to these spheres. Okay. And what I also did is set an infinity plane down. So if I scroll out, you can see this box here, um, which is a, it's called an infinity plane that, um, comes with V-Ray, I believe, so, and that is right here. Um, it's just a plane with some crosshairs across it, and uh, just click on that, and it'll go to your default layer. I usually have everything white, the background, um, so keep the plane white, and then open up your options menu, and go to environment, and change the reflection refraction to white so right now it's probably black for you so change that to white and then close out of that unless you want to change your output size which is the uh, just the resolution of your photo um, so just for this tutorial I'll keep it at um, pretty low quality um, and it's a longer image so I'll get the view aspect which means 
um, this whole rectangle of what you see in the viewport is that view aspect that it's talking about. So now all we have to do is just hit render and we should see our displaced objects. So you can already see that here's our original sphere. This one's more closely to the original. And then our fur, fur actually looks pretty good. Um, and then the grass and the mesh. So you see here on this mesh that it's pretty large, the displacement, which is not exactly what we're going for. So the, the bricks and the grass and the fur all look pretty nice. Um, so we'll close out of that and mess with this uh, mesh texture. So go into your material editor again and um, I think the default is 1 but I actually changed it to 0.9 because I knew it was large to begin with but it wasn't uh, small enough so let's just type in 0.4 or like 0.3 or something um, and then just exit out of that and then let's render it one more time and see if we can get a, a smaller texture on that mesh <clears throat> which we are, can already see that it looks smaller than the grass here, so it worked out well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it's fairly easy, so if you have any um, questions, if something didn't work for you, um, shoot me an email. Um, I believe that's still on my website, or send me a message on Instagram. Um, if you not following me on Instagram, my username is McClintock5. That's M C L I N T O C K 5. And uh, yeah, just direct message me and then I'll um, get back to you on there. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and.